Good afternoon guys, Sam from Lumtech here, here to bring you another video. Talking about how to program an additional user in Steel Arm System, we'll also be talking about how to program a FOB. Um, you can program a FOB if you've got the PROX on the keypad. Uh, this is a wired keypad, but um, if you've got wires, you can also do proximities. Um, if you don't have this, you won't be able to do it because you won't have any other way to read the new um, the new FOB. So what we want to do from the from the use uh, from the engineer menu um, after the installer code, just press number eight, and you'll go into your setup users. If you just press yes on this, it will take you to the first available user, which is user three. Um, we've got myself and my girlfriend as users one and two, and it'll take us to number three. What we can do, we can just press tick, add a code, which we do want to do. Um, we'll just give a, a random code, one, two, three, and four. Press yes, area, we've only got one area, which is area A. Um, the type is standard, which we'll just be able to set and unset the alarm. Um, we don't need to modify any of these settings, this is just making sure that she can arm the system, disarm the system and emit any zones. Um, we don't want her to be able to do these things and hence why they're starred. Um, once we've gone through that, we can see that this is lock by timer C. We need to make sure that is off. Once you've added the tag, you'll need to make sure that is still off, okay? Because sometimes it does go back on. So, um, and usually default it is off. Um, so just make sure that once you've added the tag, you go back into the user and make sure that that is uh, no longer there. So we want to add a name for this, so we just press no, and then we can see that it says ABC, which means that it isn't in predictive mode at the moment. Um, so we just want to test, type in test, so I'll do that by pressing 8337777, then T, and we've got test. Then we press yes, yes when that's correct, and we say username is test, press yes again, and it says do you want to add a tag to the user. Because we do want to add a tag, um, we can get it ready, which is this one here. Um, and if this tag was already used somewhere else, we'd press number two. Because it isn't, it's a new one, we'd press number one. And then it would just say, assign the tag now. We'll just present that to there, and it'll go straight into user four. User four is um, is now the first one, because user three is, uh, is, te is uh, test, sorry. And then, as I said, I'm user one, and my girlfriend's user two. So it always takes you to your first available user. So if someone wants to know how many um, users are in the system, once you go into it, you can say there's three users in the system because we are on number four. Once we go back to our test, we just want to make sure that that C is not there. And we can see that it is. So we just press number six and that will turn that C off. If you leave that on, you'll get problems with someone else trying to unset the alarm using a code and using a FOB. Because sometimes what it will say is um, you need a FOB to disable the alarm. But if you've got a cleaner, for example, or you know yourself, or you've lost your fob and you want to use your code, then um, they will be stuck and the alarm will go off. Okay. So once we've done that, we can just press the tick, and um, press the menu button, which is this button down here. This is an iconic keypad, hence the different buttons. We just press this button and it takes us to user four because again, that's our first available user. If you want to delete the user, we can press up and then press the reset button or go wherever user you want to delete. Um, it is best to keep names in here, um, and I mean that if if you had a, a business or your home, um, and you wanted and you fired someone, you could just delete that user and it will delete everything about them, so the tag will no longer work, and um, the code would no longer work. So if we just press the reset button on the iconic, it's just a backward circle. On the other ones, it would just say reset. It will say do you want to delete user three, which I do. So I just press the tick button. And it will just go now straight to user three with no name, and that means that this is my first available user now. Um, if I was then to go into the event log, it will probably show me that I've deleted the event. Don't worry about the up. Um, if you press up, it will take you to the first events that were created, um, but that's during the panel's um, boot up, so that's why you've got a corrupt event. If you press down, you go backwards through time. So you can see that, that is deleted and I've changed some data and I've added the user. So that's when I've added it, that's when I've changed the data regarding that user and that's when I've deleted that user, okay? And that's obviously the, the um, time and the date. Um, so that's 16 days, 16 seconds. Um, it is quite precise. And if we go through the rest of the, um, the event log, we can see um, that I was also on the alarm at, um, a few minutes too. 
um, just to come out of the installer mode just press menu until you're up to this point and then just press the reset button and then press the yes and that will log you off of engineer mode um, that's it from today's video guys if you found this enjoyable please leave a like if you've got any questions please leave a comment below thank you